Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will be introducing you to the Aspen ICS Methods Assistant. Now, before you start your simulation, you would be expected to specify your property package, right? And the property package is dependent on the components you are using in that process the components involved in that process right so it's quite tricky trying to choose which um property package is um is appropriate for your process right so that's where the methods assistant comes in right so it helps you it helps you right it gives you a guide as to which property packages would be suitable for your process right so it may not really um help you determine the exact right property package but it will give you um options right options that will be suitable for that particular process it will give you options to choose from right depending on how specific you are about which process you want to simulate so the more specific you are about your process the more exact you get um an option from the method assistant right so like i said before the fluid package the property package you are going to choose is dependent on the components that you have listed in your component list so whatever you are choosing has to be suitable for those components right now so in the um, simulation basis manager you have the methods assistant right so this is a simulation basis manager tutorial a continuation right so one of the features you have in the simulation basis manager is the methods assistant which can be found in the home ribbon right so if you are in your methods assistant or your properties environment in the home ribbon you will find the methods assistant in the navigation or navigate section right the navigate section you find the methods assistant so when you are done choosing your components when you are done choosing your components you click on it right you left click on it now when you left click on it it takes you to the um high seas help right so the method assistant of this particular version is embedded in the aspen ICS help right in older versions i think the methods assistant is different from help right it's quite different but here it has been incorporated into the ICS help right so when you click on it when you click on it it takes you to the aspen ICS help and that is where you find um the method assistant or the property package selection assistant right so depending on the kind of process you are simulating you will be expected to click on any of these so for example if you want to simulate a refinery process you can click on refining and then you see options right that you can still choose from right to either specify exactly what you want to simulate or to check that particular fluid package right so in this case it says in general for refinery applications use methods such as Ben Robinson Brown K10 Chow Cedar Grayson Street right and then it also says you can also use cubic equations such as then if system contains hydrogen use any of these so depending on what you want to simulate you would check any of these options properly right to see which one actually gives you a more specific fluid package to use right for example if you want to um if you want to simulate a process that involves just aromatics aromatic compounds right you can click on petrochemical right now in petrochemical you have aromatics you have ether 
production, you have ethyl benzene, then you have ethylene plant, right? So, for example, you want to simulate a process that involves just aromatic compounds. So, in your component list, you have only aromatic compounds like xylene, benzene, toluene. You just have aromatic compounds in your component list. Now, you come and click aromatics, right? And then it gives you these options it says you can use an activity coefficient method such as nrtl the extended nrtl general nrtl uniquark van la using magus or chenu right then it also says for systems that contain only aromatics right so this first option right is most likely for um systems that contain aromatics and probably other kind of compounds right but in this case it says for system so this second um statement is more specific if you are simulating for example if you are simulating a process that contains only aromatics so it says for systems that only contain aromatics refer to aromatic system so if you click on it it gives you just two options right so it gives you options for low pressure and then it gives you option for high pressure so it says for low pressure systems you should use antwine and for high pressure systems you should use either pen robinson or srk right so it has narrowed down your options to just these three depending on the pressure of the system right so when you are trying to use the methods assistance assistant you should be specific about what you want to simulate right so that you can get um fewer options for the fluid package you are eventually going to choose because even in the methods assistant you still have a lot of you have a lot of um sometimes you have a lot of fluid packages that will be suggested right so depending on how specific you are you'll be able to get a more specific answer with respect to which property package you are supposed to use right so whenever you are um trying to use the method assistant you make sure you have knowledge of the exact the exact process you are trying to simulate try to check these categories properly because some simulations may fall into more than one category right some simulations may fall into more than one category and then if you can check those two categories you may be able to get more specific um suggestions right right instead of getting just general suggestions of which fluid packages to use if you check like two or three of these um sections if that particular process falls in multiple sections if you check them you can get a more specific um fluid or property package to use for that particular process so just take a look at them and look at the suggestions properly properly right look at them properly this one says for delayed coca you can use them um, per robinson so check them properly to see and to get specific suggestions right not just general suggestions of which fluid package to use right so but in the general case for example let's go back to the aromatics so we clicked on aromatics now in this case it says use any of these right so in a case where you choose any of these now for aromatics that um fluid package will be um suitable so for example if you want to use um any of these fluid packages for your aromatic process it will actually be suitable because they are actually suggested right so any of these can be used for for aromatic systems right but if you want to be more specific on which to use for example in a case where it is only aromatics then you can check this and depending on the process conditions you know which one to choose right so but in a case where you are giving or you are you are giving suggestions where you have more than one um fluid package you can actually use any of them right any of them even if even if you tried using like maybe you simulated the process or you simulate the process multiple times right you simulate it multiple times with 
those different fluid packages, you will see that the um, calculations, the results you will be getting will not be exactly the same, but they will be quite close, right? They will be close. The values you will get will not exactly be the same for different fluid packages, but they will be close. The values will be actually be close, right? So just make sure you check these sections properly properly you check them properly to get specific property package to use or property packages to use for your simulation right so this is how far this particular um lecture would go right so in the in the next lecture would probably be treating another feature of the simulation basis manager right so if you have questions about this particular lecture you could drop a comment then you could like this video share it with your friends right then follow this channel if you have not done so yet thank you for joining me in this lecture have a good day.